Welcome to the video tutorial on the form registration. Through this tutorial video, the user will learn how to apply for form registration certificate online. To avail this online service, the user needs to log in as an SSO user. In case the user does not have an account in the SSO portal, the user will have to create a new account. After the successful login, the user needs to select the appropriate service for the list of services, that is, form registration. After logging in, we enter the user dashboard of the form registration. This is the side menu that consists of new application where the user can apply for new application and my application where the user can find the applications filled up or submitted by the user. The applied section consists of the application that have been submitted to the department for approval. The approved section consists of application that have been already submitted to the department and the rejected section consists of the applications that are rejected by the department. There are some of the instructions and guidelines that a user must go through before filling up the online form. The user will receive all the notifications regarding the application in the application updates. Now to start with the form fill up procedure, the user needs to click on new application on the side menu after which the user will be redirected to the online application. The form fill up is a three step procedure that includes entering the applicant details, uploading the necessary documents and confirmation and payment. The user will advise to go through instructions or guidelines before they begin with the form fill up procedure. Now let us begin with the step one of the form fill up procedure. The first section here is the application processing location where the user needs to enter the details regarding where the application needs to get processed. Now select the required district to be issued from and location code of the office. Moving to another section in the applicant details, the user needs to enter the details of the applicant. Select the salutation and enter all the details specified in the fields below. After this, we move to the firm details section. We enter the name of the firm that needs to be registered and also specify the valuation of the firm. In the nature of the business, the user needs to select the type of business from the list specified in the field. Enter the trade license number and in the business detail fields, the user needs to briefly specify about the business. In the next section, the user needs to specify the witness details. Enter the witness name and the address. The last section in this step is uploading the applicant's image and signature where the user needs to upload the applicant's signature and their photo. Once this is done, the user needs to read the declaration and if applicable needs to check the I agree checkbox. Now to move further into the step 2, click on the save and continue button. In the step 2, the user needs to upload the necessary documents. In the certificate of identification, the user has the option to choose between COI and RC. The user needs to select the necessary file and click on the upload button. On a successful updation, a pop-up message saying file uploaded successfully appears on the bottom of the screen. The same process needs to be followed for uploading other documents listed below. After all the listed documents are successfully uploaded, click on the save and continue button to move further to the step 3. Now we have reached the final step of the form filler procedure that involves previewing the enter details and making the payment. This is the preview and final submission page where the user has the option to edit any errors in the details entered earlier. In case of any error, the user can click the edit details button and make the necessary modifications to the data entered earlier. Once the mistake have been rectified, the user may now make the payment using the pay and submit button.
On clicking the pay and submit button, the user will be directed to a payment gateway through which the fee payment can be done. On a successful payment, the user will receive an application acknowledgement slip which confirms the successful form submission. Now click on go to my applications. The user can see the application submitted has appeared and the status of the application shows submitted. The user now needs to check the status of the application on a timely basis. It will take some time for the status of the application to change due to the department verification and processing. Once the application gets verified, the status has changed to delivered. And now the user can download their firm registration certificate by clicking the download certificate button. With this we come to the end of the tutorial. Thank you.